Now, scale of one to ten, is your heart here or is your heart in New Jersey? For real, where's your heart? I miss like things about New Jersey, but I'm happy living here. How do you feel about like your mom? She misses me a lot. When Greg moved, he was not really stressed to leave. He was like excited. We're gonna miss you, Greg. I love you guys. Hope you can meet some dysfunctional people like us. I hope I can only be so lucky. It would be a pretty decent time to bring up the fact that moving has been on my mind, but I feel a little on edge, a little nervous. Well, let's bring Dad into this, actually. Al picks up tomorrow and calls you and says, listen, I'm moving to Texas. What say you? When I have grandchildren, if you're 3,000 miles away, I would have to kill you. Kill me now. Kill me now. Oh, Chris, don't do it. Now's just not the time. Like, let the burrata clear or something like that. But what better feeling is there to finally come home after being gone for so long and knowing it, nothing changed? It's the same as it was. You got an experience. You came back. What the f is he talking about? I wouldn't do anything or say anything to prevent it, but I would be very disappointed. That's a big word to use. I think disappointed is That's the, the right one word. thing nobody wants in their parents. I would be disappointed. <laughs> Your mother and I tried to create an environment that would make you feel like that's where you wanted and needed to be. Like, I'm doing the fab life in a couple of days. Yes. Suppose I go and I kill and somebody sees it and they said, you know what? We like her for this. You gotta move to LA. You know what my answer would be? How am I gonna get everybody there? If you don't want to be home, I would feel a little bit like... We failed or... We did something wrong. My dad's saying pretty much the only thing that could stop me from going. I would feel like I failed in some way. I've seen him be nothing short of the best dad there is. You know, he's made tons of sacrifices. He worked his ass off. And if now in my late 20s, I make him feel disappointed in himself, that would suck. I would feel really bad about that. Well, listen, we all have a lot to be grateful for. Greg, you found a life for yourself. It makes me very happy, but we have to leave you. I'll miss you. You'll have fun with your husband. I have to stay here and continue going on terrible things until I find somebody like Vito.